Today would have been Lauren Barouche's 28th birthday. She's one of four women killed in 2015 in Kutchog when a truck T-boned the limo they were in. Just seven months ago, 20 people died in a limo crash near Albany. I feel like the walking dead every day. Nothing's changed. I attended three weddings in the past three months. No limousines. Today, victims' families stood with Senator Chuck Schumer asking the National Transportation Safety Board to make new limo regulations a priority. Right now, it is not. Shame on the NTSB. Seatbelt regulations, roll bar regulations. There are all kinds of things that can make these limos much safer because they're long. Here at New Hyde Park High School, tonight is prom. Schumer says to prevent future tragedies, all limos should have proper seat belts, airbags, including side airbags, and should be subject to annual Federal Department of Transportation inspection. Douglas Schwartz runs Executive Limousine in West Babylon and is vice president of the National Limo Association. Seatbelts, I don't have any issues with that. I think it's great. Uh, airbags, I don't know if you can retrofit existing vehicles with side airbags. Uh, moving forward, possibly new manufacturers. Schwartz says most limos do have seat belts. However, in New York, it is the passenger's choice whether to wear one. What have you done in all this time? To get these well, as, as I said, we have first, they've been working at the state level, but you need federals because these can be manufactured and passed across state lines. We have gotten the NTSB to investigate, but they've been too slow. Schumer says if the NTSB agrees with his recommendations, he will propose legislation so Congress can pass it. Schumer thinks there is bipartisan support. In New Hyde Park, New York, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.